A lot of the activity going on on Saturday for the Jubilee, of course, is going to be kind of in that hub of that one section of Red Bank, but we could not let this hour close out and not travel a little bit farther down Dayton Boulevard and pop in to Chattanooga Seafood Company and pay a visit with TJ Jones, who is so proud and rightly so of his newly opened store. Good to see you. Same to you. I feel certain you're going to get some spillover business down here. You're right near Channel 3, so we right. love you. Um, uh, near um, Signal Mountain Road, Absolutely. where it comes into Dayton Boulevard, but you just opened in March. That's correct. And already people are finding out about you, TJ. That's, well, I think that uh, we have a few things. I mean, not only are we bringing the, the, uh, the best selection of seafood to the greater Chattanooga area, uh, with the influx of people moving here from all over the country, it was definitely a missing piece. Yeah, I want to talk about that because you and I got a bit of an education. You gave it to me before the cameras began to roll. I was asking you some basic things like wild caught versus farm raised. You are choosing your suppliers for each of your products. So in some cases, you want a farm raised product because that's controlled. That's correct. That's correct. It, uh, Everything that we put in the case, you know, we're, we're doing with uh, the utmost choice of, of what it, the product that we're putting in. Right. And uh, sustainability is an issue. Uh, so some farming needs to be done. Um, and for instance, uh, catfish. Yeah. You don't, you don't want to eat catfish out of the Tennessee River. You right. know? So, and, uh, and trout from uh, sustainable places like Pickett's Trout Farm. Uh, Which is local. That's correct. You are a self-described uh, foodie. That's right. You love it. And so you said that one of the things you love to tell people, especially if they're new to the idea of eating seafood, is that it is nature's fast food. Explain. That's, that's correct. Uh, fish, a lot of people get scared uh, when you start talking about preparing fish, but it's, it's really the simplest thing that you can cook. Yeah. Uh, any recipe doesn't require more than just a handful of minutes and it's ready to go. You say that, but there is still the master chef out there and you might be one of them <laughs> because you are famous for your smoked salmon, which you've got behind you here. That's correct. This is uh, quickly gaining a reputation around town as, uh, as our best selling product for sure. We have to smoke it every day uh, and it's, it's it speaks for itself. So you were kind enough to offer me a sample and you don't just feel proud of the smoked salmon itself, but y'all make a this dill is, dressing in-house. In that's correct. That's uh, uh, from scratch made dill dressing that we make along with a whole host of other things that we make. We make uh, smoked salmon spread from that. We smoke trout, a smoked trout spread it, on and on. I'm a salmon lover. And I've had, but I typically don't care for smoked salmon. I will admit that to you. This is delicious. It's pretty good stuff. And the way you do it, it it's nice and thick. Sometimes if you get smoked salmon, it's real thinly sliced. Right. This is delicious. So how do you sell it with the full? With we, we sell it by the filet. I mean, it's charged by the pound, but uh, uh, we make sure that the filets are, you know, range in a variety of sizes so that, uh, it fits for most people. I may have to be rude and have a second bite while we Absolutely. talk. <laughs> so you uh, mentioned the homemade sauce. Yes. A lot of what y'all do here is homemade. You've got the sides to go along with things. That's correct. Everything we make is from scratch every day. Uh, a good, a good follow-up to uh, the smoked salmon is our uh, Uncle Jeff's famous key lime pie. Okay, you go there because I asked you if it was a family <laughs> recipe and Uncle Jeff is near and dear to your heart. He kind of gave you the inspiration to open the business. That's correct. He, uh, he, uh, he was a, a, a lifelong insurance agency and, and uh, quit his job about 30, almost 30 years ago and opened a seafood station in Loveland, Ohio, uh, which is a, a setup almost exactly like ours. And uh, Uncle Jeff's key lime pie is has a reputation. I eat that first, so I can't have another sample on the air, <laughs> but trust me when I tell you, it is absolutely delicious. Okay, I wanna brag on the smoked salmon a second. Okay. Because the first bite I took had the dill sauce. I love dill, but that was the primary thing I tasted. I just took a bite that was just the salmon. I don't know what you're putting on it, but that is absolutely delicious. It's, it's, I know you uh, can't tell me. It's, probably. it's a secret, but uh, it is, it is very good. We, it, it, it's a house-made brine, uh, and uh, then we make a uh, a rub in-house also that we put on it, and we sell the rub also. Oh, you do. We do. Okay, speaking of, I mean, you're a locally owned business. You sell some local products. I've noticed the Huffs 
hot sauce that you have here. That's correct. And uh, we, we definitely want to do as much uh, supporting local businesses as we can. You know, we're a small business and that's uh, working together. That's how we'll survive. Maybe I know the answer, but you've got, I mean, you got everything here from Mahi Mahi, you've got some halibut, you've got the trout, obviously some tuna. Do you have a favorite seafood of your own? Uh, I have to say, probably my favorite is uh, tuna and uh, our salmon is. <laughs> That's our what salmon. I'm our salmon is pretty good. I, I didn't mention uh, shrimp. If you're planning to do a low country boil or just an easy shrimp cocktail, a little bit farther down from where we stand, you've got an assortment of shrimp. Your scallops, we can't, don't have time to get into all of it, but they are the cream of the crop, sushi great. That's correct. They are, they are absolutely wonderful. They are, uh, uh, they speak for themselves. And the location here, like I mentioned, is at the corner, pretty much, of Signal Mountain Road and uh, Dayton Boulevard. Prime location, we have about a minute left. You actually were working a job up the hill. That's correct. And you were coming down evenings to get this store ready to open. You did the work yourself. That's correct. That, I worked uh, at a Automation IG for a long time and uh, it was a labor of love getting this place going, but we made it. You're closed on Sundays. That's correct. So when you head down to the Jubilee, rush over. Saturdays are big days for you. The earlier, the better. Definitely take advantage and get some of the smoked salmon. If you think you're not a seafood lover, he will transform your opinion. That's if you are a seafood lover, you will want to tip him on your way out the door to say thank you for opening up the store because we need something of this caliber in Chattanooga. Well, thank you so much. It is great to have you as part of the show, and I know Red Bank is very glad to claim you as one of theirs. Thank you. It's been a fun hour. We'll be back to close things out in just a minute, but hopefully we've given you a bit of a taste, pardon the pun, of the fun things to enjoy in Red Bank, and you'll want to come out and enjoy the Jubilee on Saturday. We'll close it out in just a minute. Huck and Peck for the design. Huck and Peck for the trends. 